So today we have another sequel for you. Yes, Ooh, it is called nice. the uh, yeah. Yeah, it's called The Heir Affair. Uh, it is the sequel to The Royal We. Uh, there are two authors. I will leave that information down below, but here is what it looks like. So The Heir Affair is, like I said, the sequel to The Royal We. It is the story of what happens, spoiler, what happens after the wedding in the first book. So at the end of the first book, the two main characters, one of which is a prince and the other is the American marrying in to the prince's family, they are disgraced. There is this big scandal uh, that happens. It's not like in the grand scheme of things, not a very big scandal to like the average person, but in the royal family, I guess it's a really big scandal. Because, you know, media loves to take everything and just go, here's a smear. Yeah, because they're thinking an American marrying into a British family is a little bit, you know, uh, she should be above scrutiny, you know, like she should be top drawer, uh, but she is not. Um, but it's not all her fault. There are other things that happen that uh, cause a scandal to happen. Okay, so they are on the run. They they leave, they go to like this countryside cottage uh, b and b and pretend to be other people for a while to get away from the scandal. And then the grandmother, who is the reigning queen right now, she has a stroke and she becomes sick. So they rush back to go to her side. And there is kind of where the story of the air affair takes place. There are a lot of references to heirs in this book. There's not just the question of whether the uh, uh, the son of the grandmother, who is the prince's father, how he's going to run the, com the country in his mother's being sick. But there's also the question of, is the American going to get pregnant to produce another heir? Uh, so there's, this, there's also some other things that happen in regards to that uh, title. I don't really want to give it away, but it is it is kind of like a turmoil of many, many things that all kind of connect together at the end that I thought really had a beautiful story. I really did like this one better than the first one, but there's a huge but to that. And, and that is that this book is just as long as the first one, which you remember from my review that I just did, was like 17 hours audiobook. Now this book I did not listen to. I actually read an ebook. It wasn't, I think it went faster for me. I think there were a lot of things that they, you know, that, that it needed to be that long. But on the other hand, I feel like there were a lot of things that they really could have like made it a little more streamlined for people to read. I think, again, a lot of these books could be two books instead of just one. So I don't know, like, I really enjoyed the book, but the length to me, sometimes I'm just like, am I done with the book yet? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad book. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying that at all. But you are saying, it, you know, insert Monty Python clip here. Get on with it! Well, yeah, I, I guess. It's not that I ever felt the book was lagging. I just felt like every time I would look down to see how much I had left in it, I was like, wow, we still got a lot to go <laughs> on this one. And I think the average reader, that might turn them off a little bit, even though like if you are reading Stephen King or something like that, those are pretty hefty books. Those are murder you weapon know? books. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I think this one is, um, I think, yeah, this one was 464 pages. Technically, not a huge amount. Uh, no more than a couple other books that I read, really. But it just, I guess, feels more? Anyway, uh, what are your thoughts on what I'm talking about? So, as interesting as royal succession lines go, I'm not typically much for romances. And this one seems like it's both... I'm not sure how I'd feel about it. Uh, it probably is not your type of book like that, but it is a more of a contemporary, not exactly a romance uh, in this case. Because they're already married, uh, They, it's really more about how they're surviving with the family, with the grandmother, with the father, with the brother, and their other friends that they happen to have, you know, that are connected to them within the monarchy. 
it's really all about their relationships. It really isn't a romance anymore, which I think made it that much more interesting. There's this other, this whole understory where when they go to live at the palace, they actually have to live in an apartment on the grounds to kind of be away from the palace. And it was a home that was uh, lived in by the grandmother's sister. And so they uncover a lot of things that the sister left behind when she died. Uh, she was probably, she was this pack rat apparently. So they're going through all of her stuff, trying to, uh, they found like a journal of hers. So they're trying to like get down to the bottom of what her journal is about. And that is kind of interesting because it's like kind of a mystery about what happened with the grandmother's sister. So in that case, I think you might enjoy the book, but yeah, it's it's very a very much a contemporary novel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I did give this book four stars because I did really enjoy it. Um, I'm really hoping they do come out with another one because, as always, if it seems very like uh, able to be continued in the story because of how they leave it, you know, at the end of it. And I I genuinely like the characters a lot, so I feel like it would be something I would want to continue on. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for watching our review and all of the information will be down below. But until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.